power of the latest American threatened by ISIS is reaching out to the militant group on Twitter. Abdul Rahman, who went by Peter Kasich before he converted to Islam, was kidnapped last year while doing aid work in Syria. On Wednesday, his mom, Paula Kasich, tweeted ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi directly saying in part, I am an old woman and Abdul Rahman is my only child. My husband and I are on our own with no help from the government. She then asks how she can get in touch with Baghdadi. Just a few hours ago, Paula Kasich and her husband attended a vigil for her son at the college he attended, Butler University in Indiana. Most of it probably What are they going through? It was awful. Just awful. While they're dealing with that, the battle between ISIS and coalition forces are still raging in Iraq and Syria. ISIS militants now claim they shot down an Iraqi army helicopter in the town of Beijing, north of Baghdad. The group posted pictures online showing the chopper engulfed in smoke and fire, then it's also its charred remains. There it is. Uh, we can't confirm its authenticity. Well, U.S. military planners admit airstrikes alone will not be enough to stop ISIS extremists in Iraq and Syria. They need help from ground forces like the Iraqi army and the Kurdish Peshmerga. One group that could play an important role is known as the Sunni Awakening. Senior international correspondent Ben Wiedemann explains. If the ISIS tide in Iraq is to be turned, it's men like these Sunni tribal fighters in Anbar province who will be key. They're members of the so-called Sunni Awakening, or the Sahwat as they're known in Arabic. They played a critical role during the American surge to crush the insurgency. Paid and armed by the United States, they fought and temporarily subdued al-Qaeda in Iraq. But when the Americans left in late 2011, support from the Baghdad government dried up, and many have since gone over to ISIS. Sheikh Wizam al-Hardan is the leader of what's left of the Sunni awakening. We were at our height during the American presence, he recalls, but when the Americans left, responsibility for the Sunni awakening passed to the Iraqi army. We had 103,000 men, but that number evaporated to just 34,000. Sheikh Wissam has escaped repeated attempts on his life by his many opponents. He concedes in his native Anbar province, active ISIS opponents are now in the minority. Most of the tribes have moved away from the Sunni awakening, he says. They're afraid to confront ISIS. If they say they're with us, they and their homes will be targeted. Most of the tribes are sitting on the fence. Or have sided with ISIS, which was quick to post pictures on the internet of tribal leaders in Anbar swearing allegiance to the Islamic State. ISIS now controls most of Anbar. <laughs> Sunni awakening members are caught between a rock and a very hard place, underscored by this chilling video in which ISIS militants, dressed as Iraqi soldiers, break into the home of a local leader. They're forced to dig their graves, but not before he gives this statement under obvious duress. <laughs> I advise anyone in the Sunni awakening, he says, to give themselves up and stop their work. Their work, however, could make the difference between success and catastrophe in Iraq. Ben Wiedemann,